once they stop trusting the dollars, they're going to rush toward gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. Those are the three. I mean, they're not going to rush toward treasuries this time. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike Maloney, and I'm joined by Jeff Clark once again. Jeff, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Mike. Great to be back with you. We got lots on tap here today. Article of the day, tweet of the day, two charts of the day, some gr wonderful viewer feedback, and a great meme. So stick around for that one. So for our article of the day, we're going to jump right in here. And this is an article I wrote on the five realities of silver and what they signal is next. And for one of these here, it was reality number four. And basically what I showed here, Mike, is that the current bull market in silver is just getting started. I compared it to the bull market from 1976 to 1980. And as you can see, silver rose over 1,200%. 1200 but a lot of that didn't occur until the end. So if you look yeah. at our current bull market, we're up 118%, but it's got an awful long way to go if we come anywhere close to matching or exceeding what happened back then. So what do you think of reality number four, Mike? I think that it probably won't take as long uh, this time to play out, but you know, I don't know. I just do know that there is a crisis coming someday. And you notice how the last portion of this chart just goes vertical. You know, it goes along and it's, it's climbing sideways slowly. And then suddenly there's a big direction, change in direction. And then it just goes straight up. Well, guess what? Regardless of what the price is, you're not going to be able to get any during that period of time. Uh, in fact, even with the price, you know, it's been sort of noodling sideways for quite a while now. And it's still... Now, you know, the premiums that all of the dealers have to pay the suppliers right now is very, all the premiums are up across the board. Uh, it's hard to get physical, especially small denomination physical or small uh, increments, you know, one ounce, uh, 10 ounce, 100 ounce, and, and so on. Um, and yes, so it gained over 1200% uh, from 76 to 1980. And we're just barely in this thing. I, I do expect fireworks, but like Dave Morgan said, uh, it's going to be monetary demand that causes those fireworks. And, and that's exactly what I believe. It's the day that uh, the population turns from uh, knowing that their dollars just are not a good place to hold their, their uh, wealth, their purchasing power, um, that uh, it's being chipped away at through inflation and that uh, and once they stop trusting the dollars, they're going to rush toward gold, silver and cryptocurrencies. Those are the three. I mean, they're not going to rush toward treasuries this time. <laughs> so what do you think about it? Tell me your thoughts on, on uh, this chart that you made here. Well, the reaction I had, Mike, was look at uh, how silver the price behave for what, three years back then, it just noodled sideways like it is now. And then all of a sudden it exploded. And we don't know if it's going to be another two years or whatever before the silver price explodes, but that's coming. That's really right, part right. of silver's history. It's DNA. And you're right. That's the main message I get out of that is, boy, you really need to be invested before that spike really happens. Because the next time around, it may be you know, unaffordium and or unobtainium when that point comes. So yes. you really have to buy now. Yeah, you know, one of the things that uh, you're showing here is uh, this chart is indexed or to to zero percent at uh, for the current bull market. It's indexed at the very bottom of the the lowest price uh, from 2011 to today which was the March crash. And the March crash was an, an anomaly brought on. It was a crash that co was coinciding with a pandemic. And then there was all this stimulus. So you could actually take that, uh, that dark gray line of the 118% uh, gains, and you could almost like fit that right on top of the, uh, the line that's below it. You could, because that crash was an anomaly. So that price, that $12 price of silver, that was just the stars aligning for, and man, I wish I was sitting on some excess cash during, I wanted to buy silver then. 
and I just didn't have the excess cash to be able to do it. So anyway, um, yeah, this is a, uh, the reality number four. This is uh, a really good look at what happens in the silver markets and the way silver reacts. It is just absolutely explosive. And the day that um, these, over, these hugely overvalued markets that are so bloated because everything on the planet is completely warped and, and, uh, uh, and it, there's bubbles everywhere. And it's all because of the world's central banks trying to manipulate everything and trying to keep them in bubbles. And every time there's a crisis, they just try and uh, blow the bubble bigger and plug the leak while they're doing it. Uh, and they're going to lose control one day. And the crisis is going to be huge because you look at any currency supply chart or interest rate chart, things are absolutely insane. And they have been since 2008. So when this blows, it's going to blow big. And I believe that the gains back in uh, 76 through 80 are going to be insignificant compared to what you're going to see coming up. Well, applying that, that 1970 to 1980 gain to today would give us around $150, $560 silver, somewhere in that range. Uh, so if it's bigger than that, then, you know, look out. <laughs> There's going to be some big gains in silver ahead. So, well, Mike, uh, on to tweet of the day, and this is from our friend Peter Spina, and he's quoting here another uh, tweet from someone who talks about a bank in Denmark that is now going to charge negative rates on retail accounts. A lot of the negative rates that we read about or have read about applied to bonds and high institutional investors and, and things like that. This is to actual retail customers in a bank, not the central bank, in a retail bank in Denmark. They're going to charge them 0.6% every year just to keep their money there <laughs> if you have over 100000 uh, crones, uh, their currency. Uh, so, Mike, uh, this yeah. uh, little uh, cartoon here from Peter is pretty accurate, isn't it? Yes, it shows you that the world is completely nuts. We have uh, asset uh, markets being inflated, and this is part of the inflation, just uh, at enormous rates. And then we've got uh, savings being deflated at uh, these, they're talking 0.6%. Well, 0.6% is not enough to get people to, to take their currency out of the bank in cash, except this is the reason that uh, the, all of the world's central banks think that they need uh, the uh, crypto-based, the digital uh, currencies. They need their own uh, uh, cryptocurrency, you know, Fed coin, the, Fed, the Euro coin, whatever it is, uh, so that they can get rid of cash. Once they get rid of cash, if they need to go 10% negative or 50% negative or whatever, they will. Can you imagine 50% of your savings vanishing uh, each, e each year? Uh, it, it's, um, uh, but they can do that. They can try to cause people to go out and spend uh, right away. And, uh, and uh, you know, it doesn't work. I've got a couple of uh, uh, notes here that a friend in Taiwan gave me years ago. And these notes expired. The, they, the government was trying to do stimulus. And these notes expired uh, in 1998, I believe it was. And just before they expired, there's a huge trade in these notes that goes, the velocity does increase, but it's increasing towards speculators that think the government may go ahead and back them again. So they're willing to uh, offer you uh, five dollars for 500 you know 100 to one or something like that as everybody's trying to get rid of these as quickly as possible because when they know it's going to run out everybody tries to spend them and here's the hilarious part <laughs> the government would not accept them <laughs> yes i remember that's hysterical well this really bolsters the case in denmark for holding gold and silver and even cryptos uh yes uh when you're charging negative rates like that so well, if you're liking this video, please hit that like button down below for us to help our numbers out and hit the notification bell as well. So, well, on to some charts of the day, Mike. And this first one, speaking of inflation, is the, a chart of palladium versus gold and silver. And as you can see here, gold and silver have been 
uh, trailing along there, but palladium has really jumped um, a lot. So do you have a quick reaction to that chart, Mike, about how far palladium has risen versus gold and silver? Yeah, uh, this chart goes back to 2018 and gold and silver up uh, 62 and 74 percent, respectively. That is darn good performance. Uh, but uh, palladium is up at 171 percent gains. And here is my comment. Palladium has never been money. It, ne it, it isn't money today and it never will be money. Uh, when a crisis hits, when the stock markets crash, and when people are rushing towards safe havens, they're not going to be rushing to rhodium and palladium. They're going to be rushing to gold and silver, and gold and silver will not only blow past this, you could see pal palladium falling during that period of time. Platinum, palladium, rhodium, all of those uh, other precious metals, they would be falling while gold and silver are doing an absolute moonshot. Yes, palladium and platinum, your other precious metals, your non-monetary metals, have historically not done well during recessions, during stock market crashes, things like that, while gold and silver have. So, well, this other chart, Mike, I really like this one. It's from Zero Hedge. Even the cheapest homes in America are rising at four times the Fed inflation target. This chart is hysterical, Mike. It shows the the rise in the average home prices in all these cities. And then you see that red line down the middle, that's the Fed's inflation target of 2%. And look how much more home prices have risen than inflation. Yeah, the average here is 12%. It's this, you know, we just looked at a tweet about negative interest rates that a bank is charging. So you've got deflation there going on where uh, they're, they're, uh, it's negative interest rates. Uh, and then you have this huge inflation here. Normally, when uh, prices are rising like this, your interest rates are higher, not lower. These prices are going up at 12%. And uh, I mean, that's totally, we live in an insane world run by Keynesians, and that's the problem. Uh, this should be a very threatening chart to anyone. If, you've, if you own a lot of real estate, you're going, all right. But if you're graduating college and you're trying to buy your first home, you're going, oh, no, I'll never be able to get there. Uh, this is an absolute crazy world. Something will break sometime within the next few years. And when it does, uh, you're going to see, I mean, this is going to be a painful correction this time. And you're going to see gold and silver shoot for the moon. Uh, I truly believe that we're going to have some horrific uh, currency crisis. Yes. And speaking of inflation, Mike, uh, here's our uh, some viewer feedback today I think you'll like. This is from Ray Chef. I'd like to know how does a two by four by 10 piece of wood go from $2 to $10 and silver is lagging in price? I smell rats. What do you think <laughs> of that, Mike? <laughs> that Well, yes, it's just like the uh, home prices that we just looked at. Uh, that's the same thing. And it's interesting uh, you know, I was uh, looking at two by fours recently, and this is absolutely true. Lumber is just going through the roof. <laughs> lumber is going through the roof right now. <laughs> roof, most rooms are made of lumber. Um, anyway, uh, it is absolutely true. Uh, there is something wrong here, but that is the opportunity. The opportunity is when something is suppressed and isn't rising with everything else. You don't want to follow something that has already done its moonshot and get at the very end. You want to go with something that has to catch up with those other things. Right. The most undervalued assets out there right now are arguably gold and silver. Everything else is really bloated and risen a lot. So, uh, well, on to our meme of the day. But first, if you've not read Mike's book, again, you can read it for free. The link is down below there. So check it out. So, Mike, I've seen this meme of the day, and I, I think it's going to elicit a laugh from you. So show us this. Yeah, well, uh, this is a concert versus uh, sheep in pens probably going to slaughter. And uh, there is uh, a term that people use called the sheeple. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I want to say on that. I want to thank everybody for watching. Jeff, see you next time. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. See you next time.